All right, a quick video update for my recommendations for password managers, uh, Tech Edu Tips video. In the past, I've always been recommending LastPass, um, but they made a change. And the change is pretty strong. I believe it goes into effect, yeah, March 16th. Um, they announced it's Feb 16th. And you can either use the free version on your mobile or on your browser not both it's it, it will be really awkward and actually very not secure to have to copy passwords back and forth manually or type them in between the two options so for free users LastPass is pretty much not an option in my personal opinion uh, i've been a subscriber since uh 2011 or somewhere around then a long time ago i've been a subscriber uh, paid user of LastPass and the family version for a long time. Um, I will be uh, leaving that. Mine expires in January, so still got time to transfer everybody else. Um, but myself, I've already transferred. I've updated my blog post, which is way back from 2013, talking about LastPass just to update it in case some random person finds that. Uh, I'll update it with these two videos I'm doing here in Spanish and English for Tech Edu Tips. And so what do I recommend? Well, I recommend Bitwarden. Um, there's lots of options. There's open source uh, other options like KeePass, XC, and other versions of KeePass. A lot of a lot of options. Uh, or you can just use the built-in Firefox uh, or browser. The, those are uh, good options as well. But I, I do like a password manager mainly because of the syncing between the devices um, and different platforms. Now, uh, Bitwarden's open source. It is uh, very secure. Trust me, the security is good. Uh, trust the other people that the security is good. If we look at the plans, the free plan works fine. It does everything you're going to need. I actually purchased the uh, premium account for a few reasons I'll show you in a second, and I'll probably move my family plan over. Um, it's more economical than what LastPass is offering right now. If you look at the download options, you've got your client for Windows, Mac, Linux, all the different Linux distributions, every browser you're going to use most likely, um, mobile, iOS, so you for your iPhone or your iPad, your Android apps, I've installed all these and, and some clients to test them out. Command line stuff for, for the nerds like me that want to play around with it on the command line, and it all just works really easy and it's simple to use and uh, this is what I'm recommending now for people who are asking me about password managers and I really do still recommend that you use a password manager it's a really important part of your security and uh, that's all I got for today so have an excellent day